Hello and welcome to my first Art for Wellbeing tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple but colourful skull image on canvas. Here's one I did earlier. So to create this image you'll need a canvas or a piece of card or paper. You'll need some tissue. I've cut this, these into uh, small squares. Three or four colours um, make a nice effect. You'll also need some Mod Podge or some white PVA glue, a brush, a dish, perhaps scissors, and a ruler. So first of all, I'm just going to find the centre point of my canvas. So I'm taking my ruler, I'm making a small cross roughly where I think the middle is going to be. So where the cross meets, that will be the middle. I've got my template, which I made earlier. I basically drew half a skull, cut out the pieces, and I'll have a nice symmetrical shape to work with. So I'm going to roughly line up the skull where I'd like it to be on the canvas. And then going to, with a pencil, just draw around the shapes. Doesn't have to be super accurate, just sort of giving us a guideline. Obviously try not to move the template. Too much. Before you take it off, make sure you've got all your guidelines in. Hopefully you can see those. I'm just going to rub out the cross which I made because I don't really want that showing through the tissue too much. Just want to make that make sure that's symmetrical. Right, okay, so now I'm going to take my brush, I'm use the PBA or the Mod Podge, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to pick up some tissue. You can start anywhere really, but you're just going to laminate the tissue paper where the skull is going to be. So the, so the glue will sort of kind of soak through the tissue paper. It's nice if it overlaps because you get like a little variation of colour as well which is quite nice. So with the canvas it's probably best just to put a bit of glue down before you put the the, pa the um, tissue paper on just so it sticks. So the glue actually soaks through the tissue and kind of laminates it to the, the canvas. Also try and make sure that your colours aren't there aren't too many of the same colours next to each other because you want them to overlap 
and you want to have quite a nice effect. So obviously you don't want a whole patch of yellow next to each other. You want a nice bit of variation of colour. So the idea is to go all around the skull. You can leave the gaps and obviously you want to leave the outline because that's going to be black. We don't have to worry about the detail on the skulls yet because that can all be put on afterwards. So I'm just probably going to speed this bit up because it will probably be quite dull to watch me do this. But it shouldn't take too long, probably take about 10-20 minutes. Okay.